I want to show you how to upload the data set um, to your D2L section um, so that students can have access to it. Um, you could also have access to it in the classroom as well. So I've logged into D2L. I'm going to select my course. When I get the course opened, I'm going to go over to the right hand side to the content browser and the little arrow next to it and click and I want to go to content. Now honestly you can put it wherever you'd like if you want to put it under the start here folder or wherever. I'm going to go down to the very bottom on the right hand side or excuse me the left hand side to where it says add a module and so I'm going to click add a module and I'm going to call it data set um, you could say data set for class participation activities or name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it data set. After I name it, I'm going to hit enter. Then that file comes up and I want to upload. Okay, so hopefully at that point you have saved the Excel spreadsheet somewhere um, in your system or on your computer. So I'm going to tell it to upload. And I want to upload a file from my computer. I want to upload and I've got to choose the file. I have it named class survey results with GPA. So I'm going to choose it. It appears on the screen and then I tell it to add. And there's my Excel spreadsheet within D2L. Okay, I need to do it for a second course so I'm going to do it again for you. Okay, so I'm in D2L, I choose the course that I need, okay, I go over to content, I think I chose the right course, yes, I go over to content, browser, click on the down arrow, drop down box, choose go to content, scroll, to the bottom of the list on the left hand side and I want to add a module. I'm naming it data set. Okay. Enter. That particular module appears. I then need to upload the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to upload, upload the files from my computer. Find where you have it saved, select it, and then add. And there it is. If you want to be sure, you can go back to your course home and look under the content browser. You will have to scroll down, and there's our data set folder. And there is the spreadsheet. And if, again, if you want to double check it, you can make sure that that opens. And it does. There you go.